question to ask you. So I tried to break the walnut with my own hands, but it didn't work. But then when I tried with the nutcracker, it did. What's the difference? Well, that's because the nutcracker was acting like a leaf. So as we were saying, the nutcracker was acting like a lever. You know what, let me demonstrate this with a real world example. So this is your typical seesaw. It's also a lever, as you see, because it's a rod that's rotating about this point, and this point is the fulcrum. Now, a seesaw like this can be used to lift heavy objects as well. Uh, let's say like a average human male, like my friend over here. Now, when I try to lift him by pushing down here, I'm applying my effort over here. So this is the effort point. The distance between here to the fulcrum is the effort arm. And the distance between the fulcrum and the load, which is him, is the load arm. Now, as you see here, the effort arm and the load arm is almost the same, right? It's not really very different. And now look at what happens when I try to lift him. As you see, it's almost impossible even when I put in my full effort. But now, I'm going to ask him to sit over here, a little closer to the fulcrum, so that the load arm becomes shorter than the effort arm. Now, as I said, the effort arm is much longer than the load arm. Now watch. It becomes much, much easier for me to lift him now. Thank you. This happened because the effort arm was longer than the load arm. And when you do this, it reduces the amount of force required or the amount of effort required. So this kind of a lever is called a force multiplier. And this process is called force multiplication. Now what we saw there is called force multiplication. Now levers can be used in another way as well, where the load arm is longer than the effort arm. Let me show you this. Now the load arm is longer than the effort arm. What does this, this achieve? Look at what happens when I push this. This end goes up, right? But the thing is, because this arm is longer, this end goes up faster. Watch. Right? Now, in the same time, this arm or this end is moving this much distance, but this end is moving a larger distance, which means that this point is moving at a faster speed as compared to this. So this process, you can say, is called speed multiplication. Right? Now, the thing is, scissors are also just two levers. Okay? They're like two levers attached at a center over here, right? This point is the common fulcrum of both these levers, okay? So, when you do this, you're applying an effort over here. This is the effort point, or this is the effort arm, and this is where the load is being applied, so this is the load arm. Now, compare these two pairs. Look at it in terms of the effort arm. Oh, the effort arm in this one is much longer. Exactly. The effort arm is much longer as compared to the load arm. Whereas here, the effort arm is slightly smaller than the load arm, right? Which means that this should achieve speed multiplication. Remember, when the effort arm is lesser, we have a speed multiplier. Now, use both these pairs to cut this piece of paper. Whoa, this is much faster. Now let's come back to our first question. Why did the nutcracker help? Okay. So do you think the nutcracker is a lever? Uh, no, where is the fulcrum? Over here, the fulcrum is actually at this end. Right? If you see, both these rods are rotating about this point. So this point is actually the fulcrum for this lever. Okay. Now, when you add a load, 
So when you try to crush this, where is the effort being applied? Over here. Yes. And where is the load being applied? Over here. Exactly. So the effort is over here, the load is over here, and the fulcrum is at this end. Right? So what is the effort arm? The effort arm is the distance between the effort and the fulcrum. So it's this distance. And similarly, the load arm is the distance between the load and the fulcrum. So it's this distance, right? Which means the effort arm is longer than the load arm. We know that in a lever, if the effort arm is longer than the load arm, it's a force multiplier. Exactly. So this nutcracker acts as a force multiplier. And that's why when you press this, the force that the lever applies on the nut is much larger. And that's how it helps you crack the nut. If you like this video and want to watch many many more amazing videos like these, like and subscribe to our channel now.